Hey guys, it's Udi. Let's create this sound using the new harmonic engine with Pigments 3. Okay, let's get started from scratch. So I'm going to the templates here, template, and I'm going to select default. So this is what we have. Right, that's the wavetable engine, but we want to have the harmonic engine. So this is what we have now. So we see all the partials, everything. So it sounds like a saw tooth. That's fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way to one. And now I have just sine waves. Now, let's see what happens when we increase the partials. So this is what happens here. And let's see what happens if we change the ratio. It's more bell-like. So I'm good with five here and we'll tweak this later. And what I really want to do is try out and set the partials with an envelope. So I'm going to use envelope two. I'm going to set the attack to, I don't know, 250 milliseconds. And we need to set the, the amount here. So I can go all the way or maybe somewhere in between. Right, and maybe the ratio is too much. We can just pull it back. Cool. Next, what I can do is I can use the window here. So I'm going to click this and let's try cluster. And we can add more clusters and density. Right, and that's, that, that one more sound is coming from us automating the partials. So maybe there are too many and so I can limit that for, I mean, 32. So I don't like the clusters. Let's go for Shepherd. And increase the window size. And what I can do is also use the filter. So let's select the Jupe 8, the new Jupe 8 filter here. And and what I really want to do is uh, tweak the overall envel envelope here, the VCA envelope. So we'll have more of the release and I want this to be kind of a pad so I'm going to tweak the attack cool and we can try and see how it works with more partials now Tweak the release for the second envelope and get more of the sustain. Very nice. So what I can do now is go to the effects and get just just more reverb. So right now, that's the reverb settings that we have. We can have, uh, you know, larger reverb, 
uh, set the decay and turn it on here at the aux. Cool. Next, I can go to the effects here and get the delay. So let's try. I think that's the new delay that we have. PS delay. Feedback. Time division. Fine. And let's try and have a bit of stereo detune. Already very nice. And what we can do is we can tweak the filter. So let's use an LFO for this. So I'm going to click this cutoff here and let's go for LFO one. Just a bit of resonance. And if you want to adjust the LFO, just go to LFO tab here. And this is the first one. You can see that it goes with Hertz. We can sync this to our DAW, to our BPM. And we can set this to quarters. Cool. Very, very nice. Very easy to do with pigments. Let's try and do something else. For example, we can tweak this uh, tuning here. Just for fun. So we can click this plus here and use LFO2. Very nice. Now, that's already, I mean, that sounds good. Let's try now and be more creative and try out some of the other features that we have here. So, for example, we have imaging. So, let's try and have this periodic periods. So if you listen with headphones, you'll, you'll get the, the sense of the left-right sound. And we can try the split. And there are some other features here. For example, we can try the the window here, the partial modulation mode, so we can try cluster. So th this will help you create some odd sounds or uh, something that is less straightforward. You'll get all kinds of weird, um, I mean, sounds here just going all about the place. And we can try and go for the shepherd again. So the sound is pretty quiet. So what I can do is go back to the effects, go to the second effect uh, tab here, and let's select overdrive. And next, let's go back to the synth here. And if you want to have different sounds and try out new things, play with the ratio. So 
So the more you go to the right, you'll get more bell sounds. On the left, it will be, I don't know, bassy. Or brassy. <laughs> you turn. And we also have this amount here. This ties all the way back to the modulator. And so that's pretty pretty nice as it is. We can uh, you know stick to that. But we can also go and automate this. So we can click the ratio here and use envelope three just a bit. So let's try that. I don't really like that, so I'm going to just remove that. So that's that's pretty much it. And of course from here you can go anywhere. So I hope you enjoy this one and I'll see you in the next video trying out Pigments 3 and the Harmonic Engine. And that's it. So if you uh, if you like this video, of course, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Leave comments if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer if I know the, the answer, of course. And I'll put a bunch of links in the description of this video for you, like my Facebook groups, my Twitter and other nice places. So that's it. Thank you and bye bye.